We're expecting further negotiations to pick up on the debt ceiling deal. And of course, we know that this truncated President Biden's Asia trip and it remains a distraction back home. What are we expecting in the next hours and days? Well, you know, uh, aid uh, to uh, to the, the White House and and the uh, Republican leadership in the House of Representatives are supposed to meet uh, just about now, actually, which, of course, is, is already a good, if you like, a, a potentially good sign that they're at the table. Uh, and then uh, uh, President Biden and House Speaker uh, Kevin McCarthy uh, agreed uh, during a call that uh, Biden had from Air Force One while returning from the G7 in Japan to meet on Monday. Uh, that will surely be seen as a good sign, uh, including the fact that uh, that McCarthy said uh, he had uh, the, the, the McCarthy said that this initial call with Biden uh, was uh, was productive. Now that's a choice of words you hadn't heard over the last 48 hours or so, which were more marked by uh, a lot of recrimination uh, between the two sides about uh, who's at fault for making, uh, you know, what each side said was unreasonable demands. Tony, uh, Janet Yellen saying that uh, there's not enough money, we won't get into details, to get all the way to June 15th if something isn't decided by June 1st. Uh, she has mentioned this broadly before. It sounds to me like they don't know exactly what this, the money's gonna look like, but that this is part of the negotiations or trying to put some pressure on the Republicans to get to the table and agree with what the Democrats want. Well, Yellen has said this for some time, as you say, uh, or she's raised the, the, the possibility that as soon as uh, June 1st, uh, the U.S. Uh, would no longer be able to pay its bills, which, of course, is uh, not so long ago seemed unthinkable. Uh, the June 15th date sort of came up in, in, a, in, in a connected context that, that uh, they, uh, the government expects uh, tax revenues uh, on June 15th, but uh, that uh, you shouldn't count on being able to get there uh, before the money, quote unquote, runs out. And she uh, she had some very specific uh, uh, warnings about, uh, you know, not only would the U.S. then have to make choice, or she had a very specific warning about the choices that the U.S. would have to make, uh, including uh, obviously default, which would mean uh, no longer paying its uh, paying interest on the debt, or also things like uh, cutting off or suspending Social Security payments uh, domestically, uh, and it and it all, of course, adds up to a very dire scenario that. Uh, um, that you have to say the administration has been warning about for months, uh, in, in fact, since January, when the Treasury started with what they call extraordinary measures that now are at risk of uh, mm -hmm. literally running out.